So this project, we want to go and clear this area here. So if you see behind me, around me, there's all these weeds. Uh, basically, we're going to just get rid of all the weeds and we're going to put paths through here and make it a nice garden and rocks and whatever else we want to put here. So before we even start doing that, we need to go get rid of everything here. So what I've got in front of me here is the tools that I typically use to go and clear the land like this. It's not that difficult, it's just a bit of hard work. Um, gloves, first of all, protect your hands, otherwise you're going to get blisters. Um, this is probably my favorite tool. This is a matic. Oh, yeah. Looks like a pickaxe, but it's not. It's a matic. It has that that uh, sort of flat end at the end there, and that's good for just digging it up, digging up the weeds there. Um, any bigger weeds that I can't get with a matic, I'd use a shovel. Um, or maybe it's, it might be quicker to use a shovel to get rid of the weeds. And finally, once we've dug up all the soil, what I want to do is just use the rake to go and just rake up all the weeds into a pile and, and get rid of them. The idea with this is um, we just need to do a little one. So I'm going to start at the very back here. And the idea is that you move forward. So I'm going to just hit it like this. I don't need to use, and I don't want to use too much energy like what Aaron is doing. You're going to get really tired soon. Just use enough energy that I need. So I'm just going to just do that with the matic. And then as I go across, I'm going to move forward. So I don't want to move backwards. It's a lot easier with the matic to move forward. So now I'm going to go to the next row and sort of scrape it like this. Uh, lucky this soil is actually quite sandy, so it's very loose. Um, if you have clay soil, then it's a bit more effort than what I'm showing you here. But this is quite dry and sandy, so after the next row, I'm going to go to the next row and so forth like that. Yeah, the next step I need to do is digging, moving this pile and other piles, and just flattening in this area here. Uh, one of the things that I did a lot when I was younger is digging. My late father, he was a keen vegetable gardener, and I spent a lot of Saturdays digging dirt. And one of the techniques that he showed me to help just saving your arm strength is moving dirt using your knee. And I'll show you that now. It's just a subtle thing. Um, so rather than digging like this, your arms are going to get tired all the time. What I can do is I'm going to just use my knee, my inside of my knee here is a lever, just to help, just to help move the dirt. So I'm using my knee sort of, and that just helps a lot. My arm, I'm not even using this arm here. So in conjunction with both, you can see that my knee is using a lot of the force to push the dirt and not my arm. So. That's one helpful hint. I'm going to switch from a spade to a shovel. Uh, the way you can remember the difference between a spade and a shovel is think of when you're playing cards, spades kind of looks like that shape. Uh, the reason I'm switching from a spade to a shovel is uh, for this dirt I want to sort of scrape at the bottom here so I want to make it flat and rather than leaving divots so the spade will kind of leave divots good for digging in holes. This is good for digging it flat like that. So that's why I'm switching from spade to shovel. With the shovel I've just done a really rough level here. The mounds have gone down so now it's time to use the rake to just make it all smooth and uh, make it look good.
Now I've just leveled all that with the rake. Um, that's about as much as I want to do right now. And if the next stage is ready to do some borders for flower beds. And there we have it. So that's as much as I'm going to do this time. Uh, a lot of hard work today. Uh, saw most of us all have tonight. But as you can see, uh, a bit of hard work. You can clear it, level it, start your path, and we'll see where it goes from there. Thank you for watching.